Each island is a lively area with many nice restaurants, cafes, and shops. Here is a cute restaurant we found with lovely traditional Korean decorations. Before we went to Itaewon Antique Furniture Street, I didn't look it up. I thought I might find Asian antiques, but it mostly had Western items from families near US military bases. This street started in the 1960s, when American soldiers sold their furniture before going home. Now it has almost 100 stores, selling old furniture and holds events like the Itaewon Antique Festival and Weekend Flea Market. So if you are in search of western items, the street is worth exploring, although they may come with a higher price tag compared to Europe and the US. To enhance our channel's visibility, we kindly ask you to like, share and subscribe. Your support allows us to continue sharing insights into Korea, Japan and Europe. As we strolled along, we encountered cozy benches nestled in the middle of the street. Let's take a closer look at some of the cool things we saw. I really liked the cute ceramic coffee grinders. I keep reminding myself that I need to buy a house first before getting lots of other cool but unnecessary stuff. There are many boots, watches, interior decorations and kitchenware items. I noticed a suitcase for home decoration, along with some artsy stuff. There were also numerous cute boxes, which I'm passionate about. However, I had to restrain myself since I already bought too many clothes and had only one suitcase. It's a real problem. <laughs> I also adore signs. My dream is to purchase a house and decorate it with retro plates. Share your dreams in the comments below. No worries if they seem wild, I totally understand it. There was a wide variety of kitchenware catering to different tastes. Moving on to the next floor. We found more furniture. I couldn't help but admire the colorful kettles. I really wish they could have an orange one.
After exploring the area, we decided it was time to grab lunch at one of the charming restaurants. We chose Menya San Daime in Taiwan, a ramen restaurant with prices ranging from 10,000 to 20,000 won. While ramen is delightful, my personal favorite is Tsukeman, a rich and spicy miso broth that warms you up, especially on a rainy day or when you are craving something special. Overall, it was a satisfying end to our walk. If you want to learn more about Korea, please check out these videos here.